Welcome back to the channel. This is No Luck Trucking. I'm Matt. Liz is whipping up some breakfast, so you might hear some sizzling. Uh, for the homie that watches all the time that thought his truck was on fire when there was some bacon being cooked. Just a forewarning. It's probably the video. But uh, yeah, like the title says, we got a, we got a call from Prime. Which is kind of odd because we've mentioned them a few times in the last couple days. Uh, talked about our origin story of starting with Prime. The two and a half years that we put in with them. And then out of the blue, we get a call. Liz got a call first and then I got a call like a day or two later, which is so weird. We have, we've been, we've been away from them for almost two years now. And so we called them back. The message said, call this number and ask for summer. She was like, man, is this finally when they're going to call us and be like, Hey, we want you to come back and work for us. You know, because they told us when we left that we'll, we'll be back. Everyone comes back. I was like, nah, I would rather stand on the corner begging for money before I came back. Um, not because it was a bad company, just because when you tell me that I'm going to be back, I'm stubborn. I'm not going to be back. I'll make it my life's mission to not come back. So anyways, we wanted to entertain it and, and hear what the... Uh, hear what the call was about, you know, figure out why we were being called by a company that we haven't been at in two years. Uh, so we called and it went to the company store. So the company store, they had a little mini store in, in the uh, Springfield terminal where they sold a whole bunch of things actually. Uh, some really nice stuff for the trucks, uh, like TV mounts, they sold TVs, they sold boots, all the work clothes that you would ever need. Um, GPS's, but also you go and pick up some of the things that are embroidered with the Prime logo, or you could even drop stuff off to get embroidered. So if you had like a jacket or something that you wanted the Prime logo on, they, they did it all in house. It was, it was pretty cool. So anyways, we call and the lady asked me if I remembered my driver code and I was like, no, we haven't been there in like almost two years. I, I don't, I can't even begin to imagine what my driver code even started with because we hardly ever used it to begin with. So anyway, she asked me for my middle initial and my birth date and all the information. Then she tells me your, uh, your ring is in the company store and we can send it to you since you haven't picked it up. I was like, what? So a little bit before we left Prime, uh, we had been given an award for safety and on-time delivery. They do it periodically. You get some, uh, some rewards. I believe it's like 15, 20 bucks or something like that here and there every couple months that you're safe and then you get a a bag that actually Liz still uses the bag it's like a big duffel bag it's really That's nice hmm? it's really nice. yeah it's, it's, it's it is a really solid bag then a bunch of hats but I don't wear hats uh, I don't want to mess up my hair <laughs> so uh yeah I gave the the hats to people whoever wanted it and I think you get some other stuff like maybe a water bottle or something some yeah, it's all like priming swag stuff. It's pretty cool, you know, free for just doing your job. Uh, but then after a year, I believe, maybe a year and a half, something like that, uh, they size you for a ring. So you get a ring that has, I don't remember what stone it was in. Uh, the main it stone. Two years. Would it? it was, yeah, it was oh, after okay. two years of... So the two year, two year mark is the on time safety where you get this nice ring. Uh, and then every year after that, you get like a diamond, I want to say. I don't, yeah. know. I don't know. It's been so long, but you get like an extra little diamond in, in your ring. Uh, so before we left, we had gone and got sized and we had the, the rings ordered and stuff. And then it was like a week and a half, two weeks after that. We just went on a roller coaster straight to the ground with our uh, Prime Ink 
uh, employment, maybe not employment, our, our contract. We, we ended our contract uh, very abruptly. So it was like, wow, well, we ordered these rings. They're going to be in probably like next week, but oh well, it's gone, dead to us now. So then after almost two years, they called us to uh, verify our address so they can mail us these rings. So when we actually get home, I'll uh, I'll show what the ring looks like. It, it's baffling to me that they would even spend time or money to uh, call us and want to get the ring to us. But I guess we earned it. And what are you gonna do? Send it back? Like I don't know. I just couldn't believe that she held on to them for two years. Right. Right. Said, and they had all of our. Don't tell anybody how how long I go between cleaning out my desk. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> well, now I'm telling you too. <laughs> yep. I'm telling everyone. Don't tell us any secrets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's that's odd. I that was not the the phone call that I was expecting. Not that we would ever consider going back. Uh, it's just I don't know. We got our use out of out of Prime. They got our the the use out of us, and then we just outgrew it, and or we moved on. Our our business model didn't line up with their business model, so we moved on. No hard feelings against them. You know, I still recommend them as, as a good starting company if that's the way you want to go through the program. But never would have guessed that we would have been getting a call back from them to, like, mail us a ring. Like, not that I... Like, I had no plans to wear the ring anyways. I don't... All I have is the wedding band, and that's all I really wear. But from my understanding, without seeing one... Maybe I saw one a while ago. It's like a high school uh, graduation, like the high school ring. So I definitely don't think that I'm going to be wearing it at all. So uh, I don't know if Liz will plan to wear it, but maybe I'll put it on for the video. You guys can check it out. And then it'll go into a desk drawer to uh, never be seen again. It was free, and if they offered to mail it directly to us yeah. for free, you know, why not? <clears throat> so I guess we have no hopes of getting the uh, diamonds encrusted in it anymore. <laughs> even though, the land, sorry, can, we, can we get a diamond <laughs> added to this? Even though we have been almost five years safe, on time, never been late. We were only struck with a flatbed when a guy used it as a, a weapon on the road, but... It was a non-preventable and, you know, it wasn't something that, that we uh, could have really avoided. He swung his trailer into our lane, sideswiped us, and then tried to take off. But that's the only incident that we have. Haven't, uh, haven't hit anybody, haven't had any spills, no load shifts, everything's been safe, on time. Haven't even, I don't think we've even had a log violation, to be honest with you. Maybe uh, not clicking over on duty for fueling, I don't know. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty pretty low on the list, got to say. So, yeah, I just thought that might be a, an interesting thing. It just completely out of the blue. Uh, I don't know, there for a while, they were sending us checks, like refund checks. And then it got even so ridiculous that they were sending us refunds for like IFTA on uh, reefer fuel which I don't know why there was even IFTA on uh, non road taxable fuel but we were getting like uh, checks for like 11 cents now you know it took them a lot more money to send us an 11 cent check than 11 pennies uh, I think all in all we probably do you think they sent us probably like 500 bucks all together? Maybe. Uh, yeah, something. I don't remember the exact amount, but we, the, the we continued to get checks from them for quite a while. Um, up to a year even, I believe. That, that first year we were still getting checks back and forth. So if anybody ever has any uh, thoughts that the trucking industry wasn't, terribly slow and stuck in like 40 years ago that should be proof but I think uh, we're still sitting in this door trying to deliver 
I think we're going to end this video here. You know, just a fun, lighthearted video. So thank you guys for watching, and we will catch you on the next one.